back to the second part of the watershed delineation video. So the next step will be flow accumulation. So previously we have just uh, done the flow direction. So now we are going to do the flow accumulation. Go to Oct Toolbox. From there select flow accumulation. So now input your uh, flow direction raster here. Specify the output location. Save it. So basically the flow accumulation tool calculates the flow into each cell by identifying the upstream cells that flows into the each downslope cell. So what is what it does here is that for each cell the flow accumulation value is is determined mainly by the number of upstream cells flowing into the flowing into the base like the uh, landscape topo topography. Now just select OK to process the flow accumulation. So the flow direction, sorry, the flow accumulation has been completed. So using this tool, what we get is that accumulative count of number of pixels that naturally drain into the outlets based on the assigned value. Okay. So here you can see that each cell in the grid contains a value that uh, represents the number of upstream from the particular cells. The cells with higher flow directions value should be located in an area of lower elevation where you can uh, see a valleys or a drainage channels where the water flows naturally while it is following the uh, landscape. Okay. So now what we are going to do is that the flow direction raster is appearing dark and the cells values are difficult to visualize. Hence we have to alter the layer symbology here. So for that go to the option flow accumulation and select the properties of this raster and go to the option classify and uh, select classify select it as two classes the classes is two and we are going to put the threshold value okay so once we have set our threshold limit so just select our natural breaks so we have we want two classes here and we are going to threshold fix the threshold limit to 5000 and just give ok so after that you can see here it has been classified into two so one is 0 to 5000 and another one is 5000 to above I'm just applying it and just keep OK so now you can see the flow accumulation so the next step is that we are going to delineate the watershed basin so for that select the option basin here and uh, input the flow direction file and just specify it as basin so now just save it and give ok in order to start the process so now you can see that the watershed basin has been created so now we are going to just convert it into a raster to polygon So now go back to the option conversions from there select raster and you can see the tool raster to polygon here just click on it and input the basic file and 
specify the output file. Watership Basin. Okay. And give OK. So now you can see that the watershed basin has been successfully created. So now you can see here we have successfully generated the watershed basin. So the next thing will be we can also generate the streams for it. So now go to the option Arc Toolbox from there, select Map Algebra in order to to the stream. So now we are going to use the flow accumulation for uh, uh, generating the streams. Select the flow accumulation files and set the limit. So this, these values can be changed according to the users needed and just specify the output uh, rasher has map algebra and give save so the process will be going on so now you can see here just show changing the color So now you can see the stream has been uh, generated. So now we are going to convert it once again from raster to polyline. So our input raster will be map algebra. So we are going to use the field value and we have to specify the output shape file. So that will be given as string and just saving it just give ok in order to process it so you can see here the stream has also been generated so i'm just uh, opening the attribute table and i'm going to show you so you can see here the stream file has been uh, created but it has not been uh, done using installer method or uh, properly done the stream order it's just for showing you the, the showing you the streams okay so now I'm just inputting the watershed basin here and I'm going to clip it for example I need this layer for that uh, go to the option selection and I need this part of the watershed so this is the watershed which I need so I'm just selecting it and click on the basin and select the data and select the option export data so I'm going to name it as a watershed So automatically this will be exported as a different layer. I am now removing the basin file. You can see here the selected watershed has been extracted separately and we are going to clip it with the stream. Further go to the option geoprocessing and select the option to clip. Here we need to input our stream and we have to clip it with our watershed. So now you can see here the watershed is being created as well as you can see the stream files. So for the for your uh, kind input uh, kind attention 
the stream is not being generated using the installer method or a suggestion for a visualization if we need to do the stream order we can separately do it okay so right now you can see this is my watershed which have been delineated and this is these these are the streams in it okay so if you have any further doubts you can just uh, please uh, ask me in the comment section so now i'm going to just uh, show you the overlay of this i'm just selecting my uh, fill data and hollowing my watershed So this is my watershed and the stream inside the watershed is so this is a stream layer and we can also make it a more perfect by symbolizing changing the symbology of the time data Select the use hill shade effect for a better visualization. So you can see the elevation data as well as the time data in the analysis. You can always change the symbology you can see here likewise you can just change it So likewise, you can just uh, symbolize the watershed uh, file with the dam data and create a, a wonderful maps. So, goodbye.